That shit drives crazy. I'm not used to this. This thing has a lot of power. See how fast did oh, you go? I can't get out. Yeah, it goes pretty fast. I was like disrupting the neighbors. We gotta work on the car. God. This is what's most important today. We gotta do the part two, which is adding more camber. I think I like it better when you have your hat backwards. Yeah. Listen, you guys, welcome back to the channel. You know, yet again, another video. As you guys can see, I have these damn upper control arms in my hand. These are for the rear. Show them the car stuff. The car is done. Listen, if you guys watch my part one, then you guys would know why I'm here with these damn control arms in my hand. My boy just told me the other day that there's another way to actually get more tilt than what I did in the previous video. If you guys didn't watch that video, make sure you guys tapped into that video. It wouldn't make sense to be watching this. That's what I should say. You know, we come out with all these ideas to get more tilt and like I never found out about them. So my boy just put me in with this inside drop. So let me show you, let me show you. Basically, I mean, I think, hold on. It's pretty common sense. I don't know why I didn't think of this before. Steph, why didn't you? Didn't you I, I didn't know you could you know do that this is what we're gonna be doing with these maxed out no locking rings on i was able to get negative 12 negative 13 out of it right maxed out in the rear all the way lowered whatever he told me to take this out there's also another connecting piece on the ground there but i only have two hands you know so i can only we're gonna be shortening this just about what do you think stuff two inches hell no two inches that's a lot so an inch so we're probably gonna be shortening to here which is a probably about an inch. Once we shorten this an inch, we're also gonna have to shorten this an inch and the other piece that connects to the end of this as well. What this is gonna do is it's gonna make the arm much shorter and then allow us to have way more camber. You know, when people tell me about more camber, you know, I'm the first to get on the vibe. I need more tilt in the rear. That didn't come out how I wanted it to come out. This video today, I'm actually recording, it's my birthday and Ooh. I'll be posting this finished product today on my Instagram. Wait, wait. No, that was dumb. So if you follow me on Instagram, you would have already seen this post that I'm actually gonna be posting. Once we're all done, enough talking. I hope I pretty much summed up everything that I'll be doing, but I'm gonna show you guys better than I can tell you. So let's get into it. I'm gonna explain how you're gonna shorten it. No, well, that's what I said. Okay. An inch. Shorten it, no, I cut said it, have how? Stephanie hold it. What are you gonna what? use to shorten it? Oh, a grinder, of course. That's my favorite tool. So safe, man. So that's an inch right here. Okay. To be safe, we're gonna do a like 0.75 of an inch. As long as you can see it. Can you guys see that? <laughs> no, I told him to get a shot. Oh, uh, Right. Bet. So there's this little like rust right here. So that'll be, so two lines after this little rust will be the exact amount we have to cut off this bolt. Same way, do it here, but I don't know if that's gonna mark. Yeah, that's not gonna mark. Um, Like tape or something. Uh, Move it. I'm like an old man. Just two lines after. Time to send it. I'm about to send it. I'm kind of nervous. If I mess up here, that's a hundred dollars down the drain. Here goes nothing. No safety goggles, nothing. Need to get this done. That was a terrible angle right there. That's what you call uneven shit. Look at how uneven that is. Oh my lord. All right, let's go again. That's all done. Uh, it's not that bad, right? <laughs> Will it affect uh, anything if it's not oh straight? God. The camber. <laughs> oh God. That's about it. You can see, that's what we cut off. Ow! Ow! That was hot. Now we do this one. And the other one. The last one should be the easiest one because it's super thin, but this one's a little thick. Steph, you're gonna have to hold this one, so you're not gonna be able to record. See you guys when my arm falls off and I'm in the ER. Let me see if that cut came out nice. That shit look a little good. Damn. Hold on. Let me show him that cut. That's, are you shitting me? Look at that. That was done nicely. I mean, it could have been a little better, but I don't know if the other ones are gonna come out that good. That I'm was sure mint. Hold on. Let me try it in the thing now. Before we get ahead of ourselves. There we go, baby. Got a little nervous there. See if that goes all the way in, how I planned. Whoa. Goes in or no? No, I think we gotta go a little more. Cut that much. We have to cut a little more. I guess I cut more off. I don't think I cut more off uh, mm. this piece. 
you must have to cut this one a little shorter than literally two threads we have to cut and then it'll be maxed all the way out let's get back to cutting Beautiful cuts by goddamn Tay, man. Man, that actually isn't that beautiful. It's okay, it'll get the job done, right? That's what matters. So, the last clip had no audio for whatever reason, but I'm gonna basically throw that clip in front of this one. So you guys can see one arm is longer than the other and it's pretty much noticeable it's like a little bit different but not that much different that much in camber is a lot just that much that we shortened will probably give us it was at like negative 13 maybe maxed out on the right side negative 12 negative 11 on the left side now it'll probably be every bit of 18 degrees which is what i want like an inch will probably give me like an extra five six degrees who knows we'll see I'm gonna throw the ten and a half back on the rear so that way we could fit the ten and a half instead of the nine and a half in the rear, how I had it. For whatever reason, the right side is a little more camber than the left side. So, well, I'm gonna have the right side a little longer, that arm versus the left side. I'm gonna use the one that we just did on the left side because the left side has a little less camber than the right side. Both maxed out too. I have no idea why that is, but stupid Volkswagen shit, you know. A few moments later. What is that? It's the key. You just, put, you just put have on to the brake. And click this. Both sides are shortened. I actually think I cut this one a little too short. As you can see, one is a little longer. I, I really messed that up. Actually, no, it's perfect. One is a little shorter. This is going to be my left side since it's the shorter side. This could be my long side right here, the right side. Without further ado, Let's get these bad boys in. Like I said, if you didn't watch the last video, go watch the last video so you guys can see how I put them in, how I took them out, and did all the hard stuff. For this, I just wanted to make this uh, more of an informative video so that way you guys know how I pulled like six, seven more degrees out since the last video. But yeah, let me um, install these and then I'll show you guys the outcome. One eternity later. It is hot. All right, boys, both sides are done. Done. Fiend. I also don't recommend doing this if you're not gonna run a fuel cell because I have to put my ten and a halfs back on the rear for now because I don't have spacers. So if I put those nine and a halfs on, it's just gonna swallow it and it's gonna hit the. Sh uh, it's gonna hit this. The ten and a halfs will also hit the EVAP, but at least it'll have tighter fitment for now. But with the nine and a halfs, it's just gonna be swallowing so much, and I have no spacers yet. So what I'm gonna do is to avoid running the fuel cell, I'm gonna put the nine and a halfs on, but I'm gonna get like a 20 mil spacer. That way, when it cambers, it'll hit. But then once I put the spacer, at least it'll give me a little bit of clearance, hopefully. But for right now, I'm gonna put these ten and a halfs on. I'm gonna put a little bit of washers on here so it can poke out a little bit. But nine times out of ten, it's gonna hit the EVAP. Gotta do what we can do, you know? Come on, Steph, we gotta be like NASCAR right now. We gotta. Fast, come on. Like NASCAR, baby. Can you grip under the tire? That's done. Put the spring in. Let's lower this bad boy down. Damn it. Mona Lisa. Here we go, baby. For the moment of truth. This is for you guys back at home. Oh my God. Oh, this side's mint. We're done. This side is mint. Now we're talking. Jesus. Perfect. This is it right here. I'm a happy man. I can go to sleep happy. Literally night and day difference. Oh my God. Beautiful. Oh, well that fitment is super loose. Okay, I understand. Yes, yes, sex. Look at that, this one's a little tighter. Beautiful tilt. Oh man, look at that. Sheesh. Come here, come, listen. 
super short video but I promised you guys a part two to the first one showing you guys how we get more tilt on this baby I know you're one of my babies but not this one look at that beautiful stay tuned to the end of the video I'm gonna have a little bit more b-roll at the end of the video so you guys can see the full car how it looks now super uneven still so I have to do some adjusting but the ten and a half fit in the rear just look at how beautiful that looks that's just sex come on like let's be real hit that subscribe button for Steph once again because of all her amazing yes we're super dehydrated it's super sunny out you guys can see I got the shirt off now the shirt only comes off when it's over 80 degrees I can't take my shirt off you could take it off no. come on let's start OnlyFans listen hit that subscribe button hit that like button as well tons of bangers coming simply's coming more bangers on the way see you guys in the next one peace if a nigga try me up, you know we blast in. Yeah, walk in, start tassing. Then my hoes, no niggas, bro, no gas in. Then my hoes, no niggas ain't with no cap in. Bitch, I'm with no slums, we got no slacks in. Cardi on that bitch, you know no flats in. That bitch wanna fuck me, get your ass in. Don't you hang up on that, all that fashion.